Paul Eugene Louis de Chanel, French pronunciation, P. L. Dinal, the 13th of February 1855 in Cherbourg, the 28th of April 1922, was a French statesman. He served as president of France from the 18th of February to the 21st of September 1920. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Paul de Chanel, the son of Émile de Chanel (1819–1904), professor at the Collège de France and senator, was born in Brussels, where his father was living in exile (1851–1859) owing to his opposition to Napoleon III. He is one of only two French presidents, the other is Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, who were born outside France. De Chanel in Belgium, Giscard in Koblenz, Germany. Topic. Education Paul de Chanel studied law, and began his career as secretary to Deschaies de Marser and to Jules Simon In October 1885, he was elected deputy for Eret Lore. From the first, he took an important place in the chamber, as one of the most notable orators of the progressist Republican group. In January 1896, he was elected vice president of the chamber, and henceforth devoted himself to the struggle against the left, not only in parliament, but also in public meetings throughout France. His addresses at Marseille on 26 October 1896, at Carmo on 27 December 1896, and at Roubaix on 10 April 1897, were triumphs of clear and eloquent exposition of the political and social aims of the Progressist Party. Presidency In June 1898, he was elected President of the Chamber, and was re-elected in 1901, but rejected in 1902. Nevertheless, he came forward brilliantly in 1904 and 1905 as a supporter of the law on the separation of church and state. He also gained a position on the Committee of Foreign Affairs, and was president of the committee when the Franco-German Treaty of 1911 came before Parliament. He was re-elected deputy in 1910, and on 23 May 1912 was chosen to be the presidency of the chamber. In this role he played a great part during World War I as the national orator. He delivered orations more frequently than he made speeches. He served until he was elected President of France on 17 January 1920 by an overwhelming majority, having beaten Georges Clemenceau in the preliminary party ballot. De Chanel aspired to a much more active role as President than had been de rigueur under the Third Republic, but, for reasons of his own mental health, was unable to put his ideas to the test. As president, his eccentric behavior caused some consternation. On one occasion, after a delegation of schoolgirls had presented him with a bouquet, he tossed the flowers back at them one by one. On another occasion, he received the British ambassador to France naked except for the ceremonial decorations of his office. It all culminated when, late one night, 24 May 1920, he fell out of a large window of the presidential train near Montargis after taking some sleeping pills and was found wandering in his nightshirt by a platelayer, who took him to the nearest level crossing keeper's cottage. Soon afterwards, Deschanel walked out of a state meeting, straight into a lake, fully clothed. His resignation was offered on 21 September 1920, and he was placed in a sanatorium at Ruel Malmaison for three months. After his release he was narrowly elected to the Senate in January 1921, serving until his death. He was the only French head of state during whose term in office no persons in France were executed until the death penalty was abolished in 1981. Deschanel himself was a long-time death penalty opponent. Works <laughs> 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 He was elected a member of the Académie Française in 1899, his most notable works being Orators et Homs d'État, Frédéric II, M. de Bismarck, Fox et Pitt, Lord Grey, Talleyrand, Barrier, Gladstone, Calman Levy, Paris, 1889 Figures de Femmes, 1889 La décentralisation, 1895, La question sociale, 1898 